The right person won't judge you for being yourself. They'll cheer you on to become the best version of you. I believe it's true that the right person will support and encourage you rather than judge you. This kind of positive relationship helps you grow and be your best self, creating a healthy and uplifting dynamic. There's nothing more beautiful than seeing someone who has had bad luck in love finally being effortlessly loved by the right person. I think it's incredibly heartwarming to see someone who has struggled in relationships finally find effortless and genuine love. It shows that everyone has a chance at finding the right person who truly appreciates them. When a man really wants to be with you, he will be. No excuses, no drama, no shady behavior and no doubts. I agree with this statement. When someone genuinely wants to be with you, their actions will show it clearly. There won't be any need for excuses or uncertainty as their commitment will be evident. Sometimes a man's role in a woman's life is to help her become a better person for someone else. I think it's true that not every relationship is meant to last forever. Sometimes people come into our lives to teach us lessons and help us grow, preparing us for better relationships in the future. Relationships built over years tend to be deeper, more meaningful, stronger and longer lasting. I believe that relationships that develop over time are often more solid and meaningful. The time spent together helps build trust, understanding, and a strong foundation that can make the relationship last longer. Having a loyal woman is one of the best things a man can have in his life, but he needs to recognize it. In my view, having a loyal partner, regardless of gender, is incredibly valuable. Recognizing and appreciating that loyalty is essential for nurturing a strong and fulfilling relationship. It's hard to accept the truth when all you wanted to hear were lies. In my opinion, facing the truth can be challenging, especially when you've been hoping for something different that turns out to be untrue. It takes courage to confront reality and move forward. People tend to be more truthful when they are physically tired. In my opinion, there can be some truth to the idea that people are more honest when they are physically tired. Fatigue can lower inhibitions and make individuals less likely to filter their thoughts or actions, leading to more straightforward communication. When you ruin someone's life with lies, think of it like taking out a loan. It will eventually come back to you with interest. In my opinion, harming someone through deceit or lies often has consequences. Just like a loan with interest, the repercussions of dishonest actions may return to affect the person who initiated them. Having multiple boyfriends doesn't mean you're attractive. It's like how cheap products attract many buyers. In my opinion, equating the number of romantic partners someone has with their worth or attractiveness is unfair and inaccurate. People's value should not be judged by the quantity of relationships they have. It's about the quality of connections and mutual respect in those relationships that truly matters. strength can physically harm a woman, but a woman's silence can profoundly impact a man's future. Certainly. In brief, this statement underscores the significant impact of both physical and emotional power dynamics in relationships, emphasizing the importance of respect, 
and mutual understanding between partners. When someone lies to you, it's because they don't respect you to be truthful and they think you won't notice. In my opinion, when someone chooses to lie instead of being honest, it shows a lack of respect for the other person's trust and intelligence. It can harm relationships by eroding trust and creating feelings of betrayal. Communication based on honesty and respect is essential for building and maintaining healthy connections with others. Sometimes, it's important to learn to stay quiet when you have a lot to say. In my opinion, knowing when to keep silent despite having much to express is a valuable skill. It allows us to avoid unnecessary conflict, listen more effectively, and choose our words thoughtfully, which can strengthen relationships and prevent misunderstandings. Most teddy bears are made with a plain face so kids can imagine their own feelings on them. Certainly. In short, teddy bears with neutral expressions encourage children to use their imagination and explore emotions creatively during playtime. <laughs> Holding hands with someone you love can help reduce physical pain, stress and fear. In my view, Holding hands with someone you love can be a powerful way to provide comfort and emotional support, easing both physical pain and feelings of stress or fear. A man will always remember the love of a woman he couldn't have. In my opinion, this statement suggests that unrequited love can leave a lasting impression on someone's heart. It reflects the powerful impact of unfulfilled feelings and the longing that can endure even when a romantic relationship isn't possible. Such experiences can teach valuable lessons about love, resilience, and the complexities of human emotions. The most challenging person to be with is someone who doesn't want to love you but also fears losing you. Navigating a relationship with someone who isn't sure about their feelings can be emotionally taxing and filled with uncertainty, making it difficult to establish trust and stability in the relationship. If you can't stop thinking about them every moment of the day, it's not love, it's an obsession. If you're constantly thinking about someone, it might seem like love, but it's important to recognize that it could be an obsession. Love involves mutual respect, care, and balance, while obsession can feel overwhelming and one-sided. If you like them because they're hard to get and you enjoy the chase, it's not love, it's a challenge. If you find yourself drawn to someone mainly because they're hard to get, it might feel exciting, but it's important to realize this is more about the thrill of the challenge than real love. True love should be about a genuine connection, not just the pursuit. If you think they're perfect and can't see any flaws, it's not love, it's idealization. Believing someone is perfect and ignoring their flaws is more about idealization than real love. Genuine love accepts and appreciates a person, imperfections and all. If you feel safe and secure when you're with them, it's not love, it's a feeling of security. Feeling safe and secure with someone is important, but it's not the same as love.
Love goes beyond just comfort. It involves deep emotional connection, mutual respect, and care. If you're afraid of being alone and losing their companionship, it's not love, it's fear. Staying with someone because you're afraid to be alone isn't true love. Love should be about wanting to be with someone for who they are, not just to avoid loneliness. If you feel jealous at the thought of them with someone else, it's not love, it's possessiveness. Feeling jealous when thinking about someone with someone else usually stems from possessiveness rather than genuine love. Love involves trust and respect for the other person's autonomy and happiness, even if they're not with you. If you're with them because they fulfill all your wants and needs, it's not love, it's satisfying your desires. Choosing someone solely because they fulfill your desires and needs may not necessarily be love. Love involves deeper connections and mutual care beyond personal gratification. If you feel the need to change them into what you want, it's not love, it's manipulation. Wanting to mold someone into what you desire, rather than accepting them for who they are, reflects manipulation, rather than genuine love. Love respects and appreciates a person's individuality, without trying to change them. If you believe your life lacks meaning without them, it's not love, it's desperation. Feeling that your life lacks meaning without someone can indicate a strong emotional attachment, but it's important to distinguish between dependency and genuine love. True love should enrich your life rather than define your entire sense of purpose and worth. If you're drawn to his sense of humor and find every joke he makes funny, it's not love. It's simply amusement. Finding someone's sense of humor appealing and enjoying their jokes is enjoyable and can enhance a relationship. However, if the primary attraction is solely based on amusement and doesn't involve deeper emotional connections or mutual respect, it may not be love in its truest form. If you're drawn to her appearance or how she presents herself, it's not love, it's physical attraction. Being attracted to someone based primarily on their looks or physical presence is natural and can be a part of initial attraction. However, for a deeper, meaningful connection, love typically involves emotional compatibility shared values, and mutual understanding beyond physical appearance. If you're drawn to her because she understands and accepts all your flaws, it's not love, it's gratitude. Feeling grateful to someone who understands and accepts your flaws is a positive emotion, but it may not necessarily indicate love. Love encompasses a deeper emotional connection, mutual respect, and care for each other's well-being, going beyond just gratitude for acceptance. If you feel thrilled and excited every time you see her, it's not love, it's just excitement. Experiencing excitement and thrill when seeing someone can be a thrilling part of attraction and infatuation. However, love typically involves deeper emotions such as genuine care, respect, and a desire for mutual happiness and well-being, extending beyond mere excitement. <music> Trust 
True love is a connection that's hard to explain. You might not have a clear reason, but you're undeniably drawn to that person. True love often defies clear explanation or reasoning. It's a deep, intuitive connection that transcends rational understanding, where you're inexplicably drawn to someone despite not having a precise explanation for why. It's when you can't quite explain why that person holds such a special place in your heart, and it's more than just about their looks or sense of humor. When someone holds a special place in your heart, and you can't quite put your finger on why, it often goes beyond their physical appearance or sense of humor. It's about a deeper connection and emotional bond that goes beyond surface traits. A unique, deep connection exists beyond explanation, beyond shared interests or even feelings of security. A deep and unique connection between two people often defies simple explanation. It transcends shared interests or feelings of security, involving a profound emotional bond that feels natural and irreplaceable. Psychology says that being physically close to someone can make you more likely to fall in love. So try to spend more time with your crush in person rather than just talking on the phone. Being physically close helps deepen connections. Spending more time with your crush in person rather than on the phone can make your bonds stronger. Psychology Fact Teenagers often fall for the wrong person because it's hard for them to tell the difference between love and attraction. Teenagers often confuse love and attraction, leading them to fall for the wrong person. It's important for them to learn the difference to build healthier relationships. Don't skip meals. Skipping meals can make your body store fat, making it harder to burn calories. Skipping meals isn't a good idea. It can slow down your metabolism and make it harder to lose weight. Eating regular healthy meals is key to staying fit. Human psychology Women take longer to make decisions than men, but once they decide, they are more likely to stick with it. Women may take longer to decide, but their decisions tend to be more firm. This careful approach often leads to more thoughtful and committed choices. Sunshine can boost your mood and reduce symptoms of depression. Spending time in the sunshine can really lift your spirits and help alleviate feelings of sadness or depression. I believe the greatest thing I've done as an adult was to really dig into understanding myself better. I started asking why I behave and think the way I do. It's not easy and takes effort, but exploring your inner self can really boost your growth and happiness. In my opinion, the most valuable thing I've done as an adult is to actively explore and understand myself better. In social psychology, stories are a strong tool for connecting with people. They're great for persuading, teaching, and entertaining others. In my opinion, Stories are incredibly powerful in social psychology because they help us connect with others, persuade them, teach important lessons, and entertain at the same time. In social psychology, stories are a great way to communicate and connect with people. They can convince, educate, and entertain others effectively. In my view, 
stories are incredibly powerful in social psychology because they allow us to communicate deeply and form connections with others. They serve not only to persuade and teach, but also to entertain, making them a versatile tool in human interaction and understanding. In psychology, life is like a book with many chapters. Just because one chapter is tough doesn't mean the whole story is over. In psychology, life is full of different parts. Having a tough time doesn't mean everything is over. In my opinion, life is like a book with many chapters. Experiencing difficulty in one chapter doesn't signify the end of the entire story. Taking one lazy day each week can reduce stress, lower high blood pressure, and enhance mental well-being. In my opinion, dedicating one lazy day per week can be beneficial for reducing stress, lowering high blood pressure, and improving overall mental health. Smarter people tend to act in ways that help others more because they have greater empathy. In my opinion, intelligent individuals often show more empathy and are more inclined to behave in ways that benefit others. In psychology, how you act defines your beauty more than how you look. In my opinion, what truly defines beauty in psychology is not your appearance, but your attitude and how you carry yourself. Seven things women appreciate from their men. 1. Sweet morning or good night messages. 2. Loving hugs from behind. 3. Meaningful and lengthy conversations. In my opinion, women appreciate gestures like sweet morning or good night texts, loving hugs from behind, and deep, meaningful conversations from their partners. These actions show care, attention, and emotional connection, which are important for building strong relationships. Four, taking photos together. Five, small surprises. Six, expressing why you love her. Seven, making her a priority. In my opinion, women value moments like taking photos together, receiving small surprises, hearing why they are loved, and being made a priority in their relationships. These actions show thoughtfulness, affection, and commitment which are crucial for nurturing a strong bond. Did you know? Airports witness more heartfelt kisses than wedding halls, and hospital walls hear more prayers than any temple. In my opinion, it's fascinating to consider that airports may witness more sincere kisses than wedding halls, and hospital walls might hear more prayers than any temple. These observations highlight the emotional significance of different places in people's lives. He knows you like he knows his own shadow, like his own soul, like his own life. He values your presence deeply, akin to how he treasures his own shadow, soul, and life. Trusting a friend can be tough. Even your closest friends can turn into enemies. Trusting a friend can be incredibly challenging, because even the closest friendships can unexpectedly turn sour. Fear can mean two things, forget everything and run away, or face everything and rise above it, the choice is yours. 
Fear can lead to two outcomes. Forget everything and run away. Face everything and rise above it. It's a fact that how you respond to fear can shape your future. The choice is yours. Your life can change completely just by who you spend time with. So choose wisely. Spending time with certain people can completely change your life. That's why I believe it's important to be selective about who you associate with. Your vision will become clear only when you look into your own heart. Here's an intriguing viewpoint. Clarity of vision emerges when you truly explore your own heart. You shouldn't need to justify why you deserve to be treated with basic respect and kindness. In my opinion, everyone deserves to be treated with basic respect and decency without having to explain why. Don't cling to someone who's leaving, or you might miss out on meeting someone new who's on their way to you. In my view, releasing attachments to those who are leaving allows room for new and potentially fulfilling connections to enter your life. Learn to stop spending your energy and time on anything or anyone who doesn't appreciate it. In my opinion, it's important to prioritize where you invest your energy and time. Avoid wasting them on anything or anyone who doesn't value or appreciate your efforts. How you respond to those who mistreat you shows your emotional and spiritual maturity. In my opinion, the way you handle mistreatment from others reflects your emotional and spiritual growth. Worry more about regret than failure. In my opinion, it's better to fear regret more than failure, because regret often stems from missed opportunities that we didn't pursue. Sometimes people need challenges. They are essential for personal growth. In my view, facing challenges is crucial for personal development because they provide opportunities to learn, adapt, and grow stronger. People often present themselves with filters, makeup, and stylish attire, but many harbor deep feelings of sadness or depression. In my opinion, Many people may appear well put together on the outside, with their appearance and demeanor. Yet inside, they may be struggling with feelings of sadness or depression that are not immediately visible. When two personalities meet, it's like when two chemicals mix, they react and change each other. In my opinion, when two people's personalities interact, it's similar to when chemicals mix. They influence and transform each other in ways that can be profound and lasting. Maybe they're not your friend anymore because you deserve better. Now you have room for better things to come into your life. In my opinion, if someone is no longer your friend, it could be because you deserve relationships that bring out the best in you. This opens up space for new, more fulfilling connections to enter your life. Begin now. Start from scratch with what you have and what you know. Take steps towards your goal. Just get started. In my opinion, the most important step towards achieving your goals is to simply start. It doesn't matter if you're beginning from zero or with limited resources, taking that initial action is crucial to making progress and achieving success. 
confidence isn't about others believing in you. It's about being okay even if they don't. In my opinion, true confidence comes from within and isn't reliant on others' approval or belief in you. It's about trusting yourself and being comfortable with who you are, regardless of external validation. There's enough success for everyone to achieve their goals. Don't be envious of others. In my opinion, there is plenty of success and opportunity available for everyone to achieve their dreams. It's important not to harbor jealousy or resentment toward others who are succeeding. When people ignore you or are rude, they are showing their true selves. It reflects who they are, not who you are. In my opinion, when someone ignores or behaves rudely towards you, it often reveals more about their own character and feelings than it does about yours. It's important not to internalize their actions as a reflection of your worth or value. Every person has potential within them. If that potential isn't realized, their life may feel unfulfilled. In my opinion, every individual has unique talents and abilities waiting to be tapped into. If those potentials remain untapped, it can feel like a missed opportunity for that person to make a meaningful impact and find fulfillment in their life. You can improve how you feel by changing how you think. In my opinion, altering your thoughts can significantly impact your emotions and overall well-being. By adopting a more positive mindset, you can effectively change how you feel about yourself and your life. Don't compare your life to others. You never know what challenges they're facing on their journey. In my opinion, comparing your life to others can lead to unnecessary stress and dissatisfaction. Each person's journey is unique, with its own ups and downs, so it's best to focus on your own path and goals. Sometimes, not having friends means you have more time to focus on yourself and your personal growth, so there's no need to worry about it. In my opinion, having fewer friends can sometimes provide an opportunity to dedicate more time to self-reflection and personal development. It allows you to focus on your own goals and interests without the distractions of social obligations. People who overthink often find it hard to relax and sleep at night because their minds are too busy. Overthinking can really mess with your sleep. When your mind keeps racing, it's tough to wind down and get the rest you need. Learning ways to calm your thoughts can make a big difference in improving your sleep quality. I told my friend that I'm feeling stuck emotionally and she said, sometimes walls are there so we can lean on them and rest. I can't even begin to say how much I needed to hear that. Hearing that sometimes walls are there to lean on and rest is incredibly comforting. It reminds us that it's okay to take a break when we're feeling overwhelmed and that rest can be just as important as pushing forward. Drunk people often find others more attractive because they don't notice uneven features as much. It's interesting how being drunk can change our perception of attractiveness. When we're not as focused on the little imperfections, we tend to see people in a more positive light.
It shows how much our mindset can influence how we see others. Just one five-minute burst of extreme anger can weaken your immune system for four to five hours. It's surprising how just a few minutes of intense anger can affect your health for hours. This really shows how important it is to manage our emotions for our overall well-being. Girls don't like being compared to other girls. Comparing girls to each other isn't helpful and can hurt their feelings. Everyone is unique, and it's better to appreciate each person for who they are rather than make comparisons. Traveling is good for your brain health and can also reduce the chances of having a heart attack or feeling depressed. Traveling has been shown to benefit both brain health and overall well-being. It offers a chance to explore new places, which can be exciting and refreshing, while also providing a break from routine that may help reduce stress and improve mood. My mom said, love shouldn't make you feel bad. It's the person who doesn't know how to love that causes the pain. I really get what she means. In my opinion, when someone doesn't know how to love properly, it can lead to hurt and pain in relationships. Understanding this can help us navigate our own relationships more positively and seek out healthier connections. Money is just numbers, and numbers go on forever. If you think you need money to be happy, you might always feel like you're chasing happiness without ever finding it. In a nutshell, focusing solely on money for happiness can lead to a perpetual pursuit that may never bring lasting fulfillment. A person might cheat on you, lie to your face while you cry and ask for the truth, desire other people, confuse you and manipulate your love for them, then make you feel guilty about your resulting issues with trust, trauma and mental health. In my opinion, it's deeply unfair for someone to betray your trust, manipulate your emotions, and then blame you for the resulting emotional pain and trauma. It's important to recognize and address such behavior to prioritize your own well-being and mental health. You shouldn't give up on someone just because things aren't perfect. Strong relationships aren't flawless, they thrive because both people care enough to solve problems together. In my opinion, true strength in a relationship comes from both partners' willingness to work through challenges together. It's about commitment and caring enough to find solutions, rather than giving up when things get tough. I got attached quickly because you made me feel something after being emotionally numb for a long time. In my opinion, when someone makes you feel emotions again after a period of numbness, it can lead to a strong attachment because they brought a sense of connection and vitality back into your life. Simply touching money has been shown to lessen both physical and emotional pain, according to psychology studies. In my opinion, the idea that simply touching money can reduce pain is intriguing. It suggests there might be psychological associations or subconscious beliefs about wealth and security that influence our perception of pain. 90% of people will fake a laugh when they don't understand what someone said to them. In my opinion, people often use fake laughter as a social cue to navigate interactions when they don't grasp what someone said. It's a way to maintain harmony and avoid awkwardness in conversations. People who eat spicy food six to seven times a week often live longer than those who eat it less than once a week.
In my opinion, the potential link between consuming spicy foods regularly and longer lifespan is fascinating. It suggests there may be health benefits associated with incorporating spices into our diets, possibly contributing to overall well-being and longevity. A woman shouldn't have to struggle financially, spiritually, feel insecure, or emotionally with a grown man lying next to her. In my opinion, it's important for partners to support each other in all aspects of life. If a woman is facing challenges while her partner is present, it raises questions about the quality and balance of their relationship. Support and mutual understanding are essential for a healthy and fulfilling partnership. Never give your partner another chance if they've done these three things. One. They hurt you or broke your trust instead of supporting you. In my opinion, trust and protection are fundamental in any relationship. If a partner causes harm or breaks trust instead of providing support, it can undermine the foundation of trust and safety essential for a healthy relationship. 2. They always acted like the victim and blamed you for every single problem. In my view, Consistently blaming others and playing the victim in a relationship can indicate a lack of accountability and fairness, which is detrimental to building trust and mutual respect. 3. They had to cheat or be with someone else to realize what they had. In my opinion, realizing the value of a relationship only after betraying trust or seeking another person shows a lack of appreciation and respect for the partner involved. It undermines the trust and stability essential for a healthy relationship. Sometimes, you just need to take a step back from people. If they care, they'll reach out. Taking a step back from people can be a good way to see who truly values your presence. It gives others the chance to show they care and helps you understand who is genuinely invested in your well-being. It's a simple but powerful way to evaluate your relationships. If they don't, you'll see where you really stand with them. Don't try to make someone think about you all the time. Not forcing people to constantly think about you is important. It allows relationships to develop naturally and shows who truly values your presence. If someone doesn't reach out when you distance yourself, it helps you understand their true feelings. This approach can lead to more genuine and balanced connections. Just stay quiet and let them see what life is like without you. Staying quiet and giving people space to realize your absence can be revealing. It allows others to understand your importance in their lives on their own. This can lead to more genuine appreciation and stronger relationships as people learn to value you without any pressure. When you start taking care of yourself, you feel better, look better and attract better things and people into your life. Taking care of yourself not only boosts your mood and appearance, but also attracts positive people and opportunities into your life. It's a win-win situation. Waking up in the middle of the night for no clear reason might mean someone is dreaming about you. While it's a fun idea that waking up at night means someone is dreaming about you, there's no scientific evidence to support it. Sleep disturbances can happen for many reasons, like stress or changes in your environment. It's an interesting thought, though. The worst kind of loneliness is feeling alone, even when you're around others. Feeling lonely in the presence of others can be particularly challenging because it suggests a lack of connection or understanding, despite physical proximity. It highlights the importance of meaningful interactions and emotional support in relationships. 
Give it freely to everyone, but don't expect it in return because it's a feeling, not an exchange. Giving freely without expecting anything in return is a beautiful way to approach life. It allows you to share kindness and positivity without conditions, fostering genuine connections and spreading warmth to others. It's about the joy of giving itself rather than what you receive in return. Don't think too much about what happened before. Don't spend all your time thinking about what might happen later. Focus on right now and make it wonderful. Focusing on the present moment can be incredibly powerful. It allows you to fully experience life as it unfolds, appreciating the beauty and opportunities that are right in front of you. By letting go of worries about the past or future, you can cultivate mindfulness and find more joy and fulfillment in everyday moments. Don't worry about losing others. Worry about losing yourself while trying to please everyone around you. Focusing too much on pleasing everyone can lead to neglecting your own needs and values. It's important to prioritize self-care and authenticity rather than constantly seeking approval from others. By staying true to yourself, you can build stronger, more meaningful relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. If you're always worried about what others think, you can't find true happiness. Constantly worrying about others' opinions can be exhausting and limiting. It can prevent you from fully embracing who you are and pursuing what truly makes you happy. True happiness often comes from being authentic and following your own path rather than seeking validation from others. You are in charge of your own happiness. Relying on others to make you happy will often lead to disappointment. Taking ownership of your happiness is crucial. Depending on others to make you happy can often lead to disappointment because everyone's priorities and capabilities vary. It's important to cultivate your own sources of happiness through self-care, personal growth, and meaningful pursuits. Moving on can be tough, but once you do, you'll see it was the right choice. Letting go of the past can be incredibly challenging, but it often opens up new opportunities for growth and happiness. It's about trusting that moving forward, even if difficult at first, can lead to positive changes in your life. If you want to change your life, you have to be open to changing your mindset first. Changing your life starts with changing your mindset. Being willing to embrace new perspectives and ideas can lead to personal growth and transformation. It's about being open to learning, adapting, and evolving to create positive changes in your life. Pay attention to how someone talks about others to you. This is likely how they'll talk about you to others. Observing how someone talks about others can give you insight into their character and how they might treat you in the future. It's a reminder to be mindful of the relationships you cultivate and to seek genuine connections based on respect and trust. If someone truly wants to spend time with you, they'll find a reason, find a way and make the effort. When someone genuinely values your presence, they will make every effort to connect with you, regardless of obstacles. It reflects their commitment and shows that you matter to them. This kind of effort can strengthen bonds and create meaningful relationships built on mutual care and respect. When you're upset with someone you love, 
Watch your words because your mind may be angry, but your heart still cares. When emotions run high during a disagreement with someone you care about, it's important to be mindful of what you say. Anger can cloud our thoughts, but deep down, our feelings of care and love for the person remain. Being aware of this can help in resolving conflicts with compassion and understanding, strengthening the bond in the long run. Two clear signs that someone is thinking about you deeply when they keep popping into your thoughts unexpectedly and repeatedly. When someone occupies your thoughts repeatedly, it's often a sign of a deep connection or significance in your life. The right person won't judge you for being yourself. They'll cheer you on to become the best version of you. I believe it's true that the right person will support and encourage you rather than judge you. This kind of positive relationship helps you grow and be your best self, creating a healthy and uplifting dynamic. There's nothing more beautiful than seeing someone who has had bad luck in love finally being effortlessly loved by the right person. I think it's incredibly heartwarming to see someone who has struggled in relationships finally find effortless and genuine love. It shows that everyone has a chance at finding the right person who truly appreciates them. When a man really wants to be with you, he will be. No excuses, no drama, no shady behavior and no doubts. I agree with this statement. When someone genuinely wants to be with you, their actions will show it clearly. There won't be any need for excuses or uncertainty as their commitment will be evident. Sometimes a man's role in a woman's life is to help her become a better person for someone else. I think it's true that not every relationship is meant to last forever. Sometimes people come into our lives to teach us lessons and help us grow, preparing us for better relationships in the future. Relationships built over years tend to be deeper, more meaningful, stronger and longer lasting. I believe that relationships that develop over time are often more solid and meaningful. The time spent together helps build trust, understanding, and a strong foundation that can make the relationship last longer. Having a loyal woman is one of the best things a man can have in his life, but he needs to recognize it. In my view, having a loyal partner, regardless of gender, is incredibly valuable. Recognizing and appreciating that loyalty is essential for nurturing a strong and fulfilling relationship. It's hard to accept the truth when all you wanted to hear were lies. In my opinion, facing the truth can be challenging, especially when you've been hoping for something different that turns out to be untrue. It takes courage to confront reality and move forward. People tend to be more truthful when they are physically tired. In my opinion, there can be some truth to the idea that people are more honest when they are physically tired. Fatigue can lower inhibitions and make individuals less likely to filter their thoughts or actions, leading to more straightforward communication. When you ruin someone's life with lies, think of it like taking out a loan. It will eventually come back to you with interest. In my opinion, harming someone through deceit or lies often has consequences. Just like a loan with interest, the repercussions of dishonest actions may return to affect the person who initiated them. Having multiple boyfriends doesn't mean you're attractive. It's like how cheap products attract many buyers. 
In my opinion, equating the number of romantic partners someone has with their worth or attractiveness is unfair and inaccurate. People's value should not be judged by the quantity of relationships they have. It's about the quality of connections and mutual respect in those relationships that truly matters. A man's strength can physically harm a woman, but a woman's silence can profoundly impact a man's future. Certainly. In brief, this statement underscores the significant impact of both physical and emotional power dynamics in relationships, emphasizing the importance of respect and mutual understanding between partners. When someone lies to you, it's because they don't respect you to be truthful and they think you won't notice. In my opinion, when someone chooses to lie instead of being honest, it shows a lack of respect for the other person's trust and intelligence. It can harm relationships by eroding trust and creating feelings of betrayal. Communication based on honesty and respect is essential for building and maintaining healthy connections with others. Sometimes, it's important to learn to stay quiet when you have a lot to say. In my opinion, knowing when to keep silent despite having much to express is a valuable skill. It allows us to avoid unnecessary conflict, listen more effectively, and choose our words thoughtfully, which can strengthen relationships and prevent misunderstandings. Most teddy bears are made with a plain face so kids can imagine their own feelings on them. Certainly. In short, teddy bears with neutral expressions encourage children to use their imagination and explore emotions creatively during playtime. Holding hands with someone you love can help reduce physical pain, stress and fear. In my view, holding hands with someone you love can be a powerful way to provide comfort and emotional support, easing both physical pain and feelings of stress or fear. A man will always remember the love of a woman he couldn't have. In my opinion, this statement suggests that unrequited love can leave a lasting impression on someone's heart. It reflects the powerful impact of unfulfilled feelings and the longing that can endure even when a romantic relationship isn't possible. Such experiences can teach valuable lessons about love, resilience, and the complexities of human emotions. The most challenging person to be with is someone who doesn't want to love you but also fears losing you. Navigating a relationship with someone who isn't sure about their feelings can be emotionally taxing and filled with uncertainty, making it difficult to establish trust and stability in the relationship. People who get upset with each other over small things usually care a lot about each other. I think it's true that people who care deeply about each other often get upset over small things. Their strong feelings and close connection can make minor issues seem more important. It's a sign that they value the relationship and each other. Men in stable relationships are healthier, live longer and feel less anxious and stressed. I agree that being in a stable relationship can positively impact a man's health and well-being. Having a supportive partner can reduce stress, provide emotional stability, and encourage healthier lifestyle choices, all of which contribute to a longer, healthier life. 
Real men stay faithful. They don't look for other women because they're too busy finding new ways to love their own. I think the message highlights the value of loyalty in relationships. A truly committed man focuses on nurturing and deepening his bond with his partner rather than seeking attention elsewhere. This kind of dedication is a key aspect of a strong and healthy relationship. Psychology says that without communication there's no relationship. Without respect there's no love. Without trust there's no reason to stay together. I believe this statement captures essential elements of a healthy relationship. Communication is key to understanding each other, respect is crucial for love to flourish, and trust is the foundation that holds everything together. Without these, a relationship can't thrive. Arguing with your partner might seem like a bad sign, but it can actually help couples get closer. I think this is true. Arguing can be a way for couples to express their feelings and resolve issues. When handled well, it can lead to better understanding and a stronger bond. People who get upset over little things often care deeply about each other. In my view, it's often true that people who get upset over small matters with each other are usually deeply invested in their relationship. These emotions can stem from a strong sense of attachment and concern for the relationship's well-being. Having many sexual partners can make it less likely to get married, at least in the short run. In my opinion, having multiple sexual partners can impact the likelihood of marriage, especially in the short term, as it may affect perceptions of commitment and relationship stability. 66% of single men and women surveyed say they are single because they haven't found their soulmate yet. In my opinion, it's understandable that many singles cite not finding their soulmate as a reason for being single. Finding a deep connection and compatibility with someone can be a significant factor in choosing a partner. Psychology suggests that it's not loving that scares you. It's the fear of not being loved in return. In my view, this statement reflects a common fear among people when it comes to relationships. It highlights the vulnerability of loving someone and the desire for that love to be reciprocated, which is crucial for emotional fulfillment in relationships. Research shows that if both partners are focused on their careers, minor disagreements don't affect them much. They prioritize improving their quality of life. In my opinion, it makes sense that couples who are both career-oriented may prioritize their professional goals and financial stability over minor conflicts. This focus on mutual success and comfort can contribute to a stable and fulfilling relationship dynamic. Arguing with your partner might seem like a sign of trouble, but it can actually strengthen the bond between couples. In my opinion, disagreements and arguments can sometimes lead to a deeper understanding between partners. When handled constructively, they can help couples communicate better, resolve conflicts, and ultimately strengthen their relationship. 70% of young people aged 16 to 24 had their first kiss by the time they were 15 years old. In my view, it's interesting to note that a significant majority of young people have their first kiss by age 15. This statistic reflects a common experience during adolescence, 
where romantic interactions and milestones like kissing are a part of growing up and exploring relationships. People believe a soulmate is someone who perfectly matches them, which everyone desires. However, a true soulmate is like a mirror. They reveal what's holding you back and help you see yourself clearly so you can grow and improve your life. In my opinion, this perspective on soulmates is profound. It suggests that a true soulmate is not just someone who complements you perfectly, but also challenges you to become a better version of yourself. This dynamic of mutual growth and self-discovery can lead to a deeper and more meaningful connection in relationships. Marry someone who respects your need for alone time. These marriages often stand the test of time better. In my opinion, marriages where both partners understand and respect each other's need for solitude can be more sustainable. It shows a level of mutual understanding and consideration that allows each person to maintain their individuality while nurturing the relationship. According to psychology, couples who laugh together for at least 10 minutes a day tend to have stronger relationships. In my opinion, the idea that laughter strengthens relationships makes sense. Sharing laughter can create positive experiences, relieve tension, and foster a sense of closeness and enjoyment between partners. It's a simple yet powerful way to connect and build a lasting bond. Thanks for watching. You have the power to decide what to keep and what to let go. This statement is empowering. It emphasizes that you have control over your life and choices. You can decide what is important and worth keeping and what is better to let go of. This mindset can help you focus on positive and beneficial aspects while discarding negativity or unnecessary burdens. Some people love you but don't say it, while others say they love you but don't mean it. Keep that in mind. This statement highlights the complexity of relationships and the difference between words and actions. It's a reminder to be discerning about who truly cares for you. Genuine love is shown through actions, not just words. It's an important lesson to understand the difference and protect your emotional well-being. One day, all the love you've given will come back to you and stay forever. This message is hopeful and uplifting. It reassures that the love and kindness you share will eventually return to you, emphasizing the idea of karma or reciprocal goodness. It's a comforting thought that encourages people to continue being loving and generous, knowing their efforts will be rewarded in time. Sometimes you have to accept that some people come into your life just to bring temporary happiness. This statement is a gentle reminder to appreciate fleeting moments and the temporary joy some people bring, helping us cherish the present without clinging to the past. When one door of happiness closes, another one opens. But we often stare too long at the closed door and miss the new one that opened for us. This idea is a valuable reminder to stay focused on new opportunities rather than dwelling on lost ones. It encourages us to shift our attention from what's gone to what's possible, helping us embrace positive changes and fresh starts. No one's going to rescue you. Your life is entirely up to you. This statement is a powerful call to take control of your own life. It emphasizes personal responsibility and encourages self-reliance, 
reminding us that we are the ones who must shape our own destiny. Stop waiting for life to match your expectations and start changing your expectations to fit life. This message encourages adaptability and acceptance. Instead of waiting for life to align with your ideals, it suggests adjusting your expectations to better fit reality. It's a practical approach that can lead to greater satisfaction and less frustration. Anyone can make you smile, but not everyone can make you truly happy. This statement highlights a key difference between temporary joy and deep, lasting happiness. It suggests that while many can bring a fleeting smile, only a few can provide true, lasting contentment. It's a reminder to value relationships and experiences that contribute to genuine happiness. Quiet struggles are the toughest ones. This statement points out that internal struggles, which are often hidden from view, can be the most challenging to deal with. It underscores the difficulty of coping with problems that aren't visible to others, highlighting the importance of empathy and support for those facing such battles. Learn to keep your mind calm during any storm, and it will help you a lot. This statement emphasizes the value of staying calm under pressure. It suggests that maintaining a steady, composed mindset during tough times can be incredibly beneficial, helping you navigate challenges more effectively. Pay attention to the people who put in the effort to stay in your life. It's important to value those who actively make an effort to be part of your life. Their commitment shows they truly care about you and want to maintain a meaningful connection. You only get one shot at life, so go for what makes you happy and spend time with people who make you feel good. Focusing on what makes you happy and being with people who uplift you is a great approach to life. It helps ensure that you live fully and surround yourself with positivity. The secret to being happy is realizing that people will treat you based on how you let them. Understanding that people will treat you according to your boundaries and how you allow them to interact with you is empowering. It puts you in control of your own happiness and encourages you to set healthy limits. The less you react to negative people, the more peaceful your life will be. Ignoring negative people can lead to a more peaceful and balanced life. It helps you avoid unnecessary stress and keeps your focus on positive experiences and relationships. Don't waste your energy trying to fix relationships that aren't your fault. It's wise not to spend your time and energy trying to fix relationships that weren't your fault to begin with. Instead, focus on the ones that are worth your effort and where mutual respect exists. Don't seek revenge. Let them see their mistakes on their own. Letting people see their own mistakes without seeking revenge is often more powerful. It allows them to reflect and grow on their own which can be more satisfying and effective in the long run. When your mind feels angry but your heart still cares, it's because you care about someone deeply. Feeling anger but still caring shows that your feelings for someone are strong and genuine. 
it means you value the relationship enough to be affected by it, which can lead to deeper understanding and growth. We don't see things as they really are, we see them based on who we are. This means our views are shaped by our own experiences and mindset, so it's important to be aware of how our perspective influences what we see. People tend to be more honest when they're really tired. It's often true that people are more open and truthful when they're exhausted. When someone's tired, they might let down their guard and speak more honestly because they don't have the energy to maintain facades. When you ruin someone's life with lies, consider it a loan. You'll pay for it with interest. This saying suggests that deceitful actions will eventually come back to affect you negatively. It's a reminder that dishonesty often leads to consequences, and the harm you cause others can eventually return to you in some form. It's a call for integrity, as the repercussions of misleading or hurting others can be significant. A true man shows his partner love, respect, honesty, loyalty, and attention. This statement highlights that genuine care in a relationship involves more than just grand gestures. It emphasizes the importance of consistently showing respect, honesty, and loyalty. It suggests that the foundation of a strong relationship is built on these qualities, which create a lasting and meaningful connection. A good woman is rare these days. Sometimes you have to take her from someone who doesn't appreciate her. Finding a great partner is tough, but taking someone from someone who doesn't appreciate them isn't the best approach. It's better to seek out and value a partner who is right for you. A man's strength might hurt a woman physically, but a woman's silence can shape a man's future in powerful ways. This statement contrasts physical strength with emotional influence. It suggests that while a man's physical power can cause immediate harm, a woman's silence can have a profound impact on a man's life and future. It highlights the idea that emotional and psychological effects can be just as significant as physical ones. Sometimes it's best to stay quiet even when you have a lot to say. This idea suggests that speaking up isn't always the best option, even if you have a lot on your mind. Sometimes, choosing silence can be more effective and prevent unnecessary conflicts or misunderstandings. It's about knowing when to hold back for the sake of better outcomes. Once you begin loving someone, it's hard to stop. This statement captures how powerful and enduring love can be. It highlights that once you form a deep emotional connection with someone, it can be challenging to let go or stop caring. Love often creates lasting bonds that are difficult to break. The most dangerous enemy is a close friend who competes with you secretly while you don't even realize it. It sounds like you're looking for a log or record of our conversation. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to create or store logs of our interactions. However, if you need a summary or specific details from our chat, let me know, and I can help with that. A man's interest in a woman can fade if she pushes for commitment when he's not ready. This suggests that pressuring someone for commitment before they're ready can drive them away. It's important to respect each other's timing in a relationship to maintain interest and connection. 
Instead of replacing her, teach her to be the woman you want. You won't find a perfect woman, but you can help her become the perfect match for you. This idea suggests that rather than seeking out a flawless partner, it's better to nurture and guide the one you're with to become the ideal match for you. It emphasizes the value of growth and collaboration in relationships over simply looking for perfection. Don't use your favorite song as an alarm, you might end up hating it. Using your favorite song as an alarm might ruin it for you because hearing it too often in a stressful context can make you associate it with negative feelings. It's better to choose a different tune for waking up. You can rewire your brain for happiness by thinking of three things you're grateful for every day for 21 days. This suggests that focusing on gratitude can help shift your mindset toward happiness. By regularly acknowledging things you're thankful for, you can create a more positive outlook and train your brain to focus on the good aspects of life. People who use swear words often seem to be stronger emotionally. This implies that swearing might be a sign of emotional strength because it can reflect a person's ability to express their feelings openly. However, it's important to remember that emotional strength also comes from other aspects like resilience and self-control. If you want to visit a place that no one else is interested in, go alone. You'll likely meet others who share your interests there. Going solo to a place you're interested in can lead to finding like-minded people who share your passion. It's a great way to enjoy your interests and connect with others who have the same enthusiasm. Every teacher was once a student, every winner was once a loser, and every expert was once a beginner. They all crossed the bridge of learning. This highlights that everyone starts as a beginner and learns through experience to become successful. It emphasizes that growth and achievement come from continuous learning and perseverance. If someone truly loves you, their feelings won't change, no matter how many people they meet. Real love can't be taken away. This suggests that genuine love remains constant despite external influences. It implies that true affection is steadfast and secure, not easily affected by other people or situations. Living alone can be appealing because you're never truly alone. God is always with you. This idea suggests that living alone can have its own charm and that you're never truly by yourself because of the presence of a higher power. It highlights the comforting belief that divine support is always there, even in solitude. Sometimes, you just need to take a step back from people. If they care, they'll reach out. Taking a step back from people can be a good way to see who truly values your presence. It gives others the chance to show they care and helps you understand who is genuinely invested in your well-being. It's a simple but powerful way to evaluate your relationships. If they don't, you'll see where you really stand with them. Don't try to make someone think about you all the time. Not forcing people to constantly think about you is important. It allows relationships to develop naturally and shows who truly values your presence. If someone doesn't reach out when you distance yourself, it helps you understand their true feelings. This approach can lead to more genuine and balanced connections. Just stay quiet and let them see what life is like without you. Staying quiet and giving people space to realize your absence can be revealing. 
It allows others to understand your importance in their lives on their own. This can lead to more genuine appreciation and stronger relationships as people learn to value you without any pressure. When you start taking care of yourself, you feel better, look better and attract better things and people into your life. Taking care of yourself not only boosts your mood and appearance, but also attracts positive people and opportunities into your life. It's a win-win situation. Waking up in the middle of the night for no clear reason might mean someone is dreaming about you. While it's a fun idea that waking up at night means someone is dreaming about you, there's no scientific evidence to support it. Sleep disturbances can happen for many reasons, like stress or changes in your environment. It's an interesting thought, though. The worst kind of loneliness is feeling alone even when you're around others. Feeling lonely in the presence of others can be particularly challenging because it suggests a lack of connection or understanding despite physical proximity. It highlights the importance of meaningful interactions and emotional support in relationships. Give it freely to everyone, but don't expect it in return because it's a feeling, not an exchange. Giving freely without expecting anything in return is a beautiful way to approach life. It allows you to share kindness and positivity without conditions, fostering genuine connections and spreading warmth to others. It's about the joy of giving itself rather than what you receive in return. Don't think too much about what happened before. Don't spend all your time thinking about what might happen later. Focus on right now and make it wonderful. Focusing on the present moment can be incredibly powerful. It allows you to fully experience life as it unfolds, appreciating the beauty and opportunities that are right in front of you. By letting go of worries about the past or future, you can cultivate mindfulness and find more joy and fulfillment in everyday moments. Don't worry about losing others. Worry about losing yourself while trying to please everyone around you. Focusing too much on pleasing everyone can lead to neglecting your own needs and values. It's important to prioritize self-care and authenticity rather than constantly seeking approval from others. By staying true to yourself, you can build stronger, more meaningful relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. If you're always worried about what others think, you can't find true happiness. Constantly worrying about others' opinions can be exhausting and limiting. It can prevent you from fully embracing who you are and pursuing what truly makes you happy. True happiness often comes from being authentic and following your own path rather than seeking validation from others. You are in charge of your own happiness. Relying on others to make you happy will often lead to disappointment. Taking ownership of your happiness is crucial. Depending on others to make you happy can often lead to disappointment because everyone's priorities and capabilities vary. It's important to cultivate your own sources of happiness through self-care, personal growth, and meaningful pursuits. Moving on can be tough. But once you do, you'll see it was the right choice. Letting go of the past can be incredibly challenging, but it often opens up new opportunities for growth and happiness. It's about trusting that moving forward, even if difficult at first, can lead to positive changes in your life. 
If you want to change your life, you have to be open to changing your mindset first. Changing your life starts with changing your mindset. Being willing to embrace new perspectives and ideas can lead to personal growth and transformation. It's about being open to learning, adapting, and evolving to create positive changes in your life. Pay attention to how someone talks about others to you. This is likely how they'll talk about you to others. Observing how someone talks about others can give you insight into their character and how they might treat you in the future. It's a reminder to be mindful of the relationships you cultivate and to seek genuine connections based on respect and trust. If someone truly wants to spend time with you, they'll find a reason, find a way and make the effort. When someone genuinely values your presence, they will make every effort to connect with you, regardless of obstacles. It reflects their commitment and shows that you matter to them. This kind of effort can strengthen bonds and create meaningful relationships built on mutual care and respect. When you're upset with someone you love, Watch your words because your mind may be angry, but your heart still cares. When emotions run high during a disagreement with someone you care about, it's important to be mindful of what you say. Anger can cloud our thoughts, but deep down, our feelings of care and love for the person remain. Being aware of this can help in resolving conflicts with compassion and understanding, strengthening the bond in the long run. Two clear signs that someone is thinking about you deeply when they keep popping into your thoughts unexpectedly and repeatedly. When someone occupies your thoughts repeatedly, it's often a sign of a deep connection or significance in your life.